Mike from Mike and the Moon Pies, and this is the Texas music scene with Jack Ingram. Hey, Jack Ingram here, and welcome back to the Texas music scene. Here's our sit down with Mike Carmeyer of Mike and the Moon Pies, with the story behind their surprise release of the album Cheap Silver and Solid Country Gold. This one was recorded in both Wimberley, Texas at Yellow Dog Studios and across the pond in London's world famous Abbey Road Studios. Mm hmm, check it out. Tennessee whiskey and rhythm and blues Here's to cheap silver and solid country gold. I think I'll buy us all around Yeah, the, sh the whole record starts with um, just strings. <laughs> the first 10, 20 seconds of the record are, are only the symphony. Um, so we dive right into it really hard and uh, there, there's not a single song that doesn't have the strings on it and that that first song Cheap Silver um, really sells the whole record to me as a whole I mean it's it, it catches you off guard at first which I want to do um, but it also gives you an idea of kind of where the whole record heads and what the whole thing is about and it's you know it's 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 very reflective and um, but at the same time, it's something that no one's really doing right now. And, and it's, there's a juxtaposition about the entire record that is my favorite part of it. It's something that's, that you've heard before, but you've never heard it like this. So here's to another night, Tennessee whiskey. Around the time of the release of Steak Night at the Prairie Rose, me and Adam Oder had already been talking about the next follow-up project. We had a general idea of that we wanted to make a record that was different than the previous one. At the time, we got really hooked on this um, crooner stuff that we were listening to, Sinatra, and we were watching all these old videos of, of Frank in the studio and these big string orchestras behind him. And I'd always been into that style and I wanted to do something like that for a long time but I never thought especially this early on with the band that we would be able to do anything like that but as Adam and I always do we just try to make it happen. Dave Percival from the Yellow Dog had brought up working at Abbey Road and he had been there before and worked on some projects there. Adam and I decided that we would get the whole band together and hang out at the Yellow Dog for a week and write the record. I broke out my phone and had 50 or so voice memos of chorus ideas or hooks or any little bitty five second thing that I could scrounge up off my phone. We decided to try to expand it into as many songs as we could make. Knowing that we were going to be having an entire string section and writing songs that would lend themselves to sound good with an entire string orchestra behind it. But I love this life, kid. Another major theme of the record is my son. Um, he was born right around the time that um, Steak Night came out. And uh, he was only a few months old when we started touring that record hard. And um, I spent a lot of time away from him in the very first few months um, when the record came out. And I was writing this record at the same time. So it was obviously going to happen that I wrote some stuff for him. Uh, the main song is Danger which um, I wrote directly to my son, the first song that I've written for him. I'm sure there'll be several more. Um, but that was a hard one to do, because I don't know, I've only been a father at that time for a few months, and it's hard to figure out what I'm going to tell my son. But a lot of the record in, as a whole is a, is a letter to him. Um, I'm, I'm telling him about where the whole band has been and what I've been doing 
for the past decade before he came along, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do now that he's here. Walking into Abbey Road was a pretty incredible experience. I had never um, been in any sort of room with that amount of history in it, especially one that I was about to work in for the next three days. You know, all the incredible things that have been recorded and created there over the years, um, it's hard to, re hard to believe that you're laying down something in that same room. Um, and I sang into John Lennon's uh, microphone <laughs> and they had to bring it out in like a gold case. <laughs> Other than all of the string players from the London Symphony that we had on the record, we only had three other guests. We had Nikki Lane sing on a Misfortune, um, which was perfect because that's a casino song and she uh, has this casino uh, record out, you know, the jackpot song. So that, that also went hand in hand. I had Shooter Jennings on the song Danger and I chose him to sing on Danger, obviously, because of the relationship of obviously him and his father was um, you know, as very similar to mine. Um, I'm on the road all the time, just like his dad was at that time as well. Fast as lightning, twice as frightening, looking back to London, picking with symphony. Lost some changes, did some rearranges, moving to a minor key. I want to kill the idea of us being a, just a throwback band. And this record, I wanted to push the envelope a little bit with our, with our band itself and what the sound is. And we still have that, that uh, 80s niche <laughs> thing that we do. And um, when you put that whole London Symphony behind it, it still falls in place in, uh, in 80s country as it does as much in Frank Sinatra and crooner music. Kind of bridges a gap there and still is Mike and the Moon Pies. You know, not only did we make this record in London, um, we did it with players that we've never met before. We did it with string arrangements from Dave Percival, who we had to pre-pro the entire album so he could write the strings for it, which I never heard until we cut them at Abbey Road. So it was a learning experience and an experiment from the beginning to the end. And it still is an experiment <laughs> for us. So Cheap Silver has set you up for the whole record and hopefully Solid Country Gold is what the rest of the record is. 